Hello everybody and welcome inside to the showroom here at Don A. Mott's in Hilton. And my name's Adam and today I've got for you a Swift Edge 466. It's brand new, it's a 2022 model. It's on a Fiat 140 brake horsepower, six speed manual gearbox and it's a 2.2 litre engine. Um, so we'll go around the outside quickly first and then we'll have a jump on the inside and see what you've got. It's three and a half ton in maximum weight so you can drive it on a standard license and it's six berth and six belts as well so it's sleep six and travel six. Perfect for the family. So it's on the new series eight cab. As I mentioned it's the 140 brake horsepower um, six speed manual. We've got the Fiat alloy wheels. We have some of your exhausts underneath um, and then we have your water fill point just here for your onboard water tank. Moving further down, you've got your toilet cassette that lives just in there. Gas locker, so there's room for two gas bottles, one that you use and one to travel as a spare. And then you've got the vent for your Truma heating, so it's the blown air heating system on this one. Uh, round to the back, we do have the fittings for a bike rack if you wanted to add one to it. And we do also have rear parking sensors. You can just see them, they're colour coded into the bumper just there as well. Round onto the passenger side, you've got an opening here. This one is the bunk beds at the back, so we've got two bunks, but this also turns into a garage as well if you wanted to. So the mattress, pop it up onto the top one when you're traveling, and this does just lift up and strap away to become a big garage if you wanted to put bikes in or store anything in there whilst you're traveling, you can. Or if you didn't want to use both bunks, you can leave it popped up, um, and then you've got room for a big garage and loads of storage as well. We've got your fridge and freezer vents just there for your Dometic, which we'll see on the inside. Um, and we've got entrance step. You've got your electrical hookup point just there. Because we're inside in the showroom, it's all lit up nicely. And we've got your diesel point with your AdBlue there as well. So, onto the inside. But before we do, you do have a fly screen on your door. We'll go on in and we'll head down towards the front. I'll let Wendy go past. We've got this one set up with the bed ready to show you, but down into the cab. Down towards the cab first, you'll see. So you've got your screen in there, you've got your six speed manual gearbox, you've got your cab air conditioning, and you've got all your steering wheel controls on there with your phone, you've got um, your USBs, your 12 volts, electric windows and electric mirrors as well all in there and you've got USB connectivity in the centre. Drinks holders, all important in the cab as well. We like drinks holders. And then we've got your lounge area. So obviously ladder just pops away and the bed does push up, which I'll do just for a second. So that's up and out the way now, that's for your daytime. See how easy that was. So you've got your nice big lounge area, two belts here, and then you've got two rear facing belts as well. You do have a table which slots in to uh, make it a dining area. And this also does make up to a large double bed as well. So we've got two sleeping down there. And then when you do want to use the top bed, just pulls down. You can leave it made up and it's absolutely huge up there. There is some infill cushions up there which help you make the bottom ones. You've got windows and blinds up there. There's lights up there. And then your ladder just clips onto there as well. So that's set up for night. You've got storage around the van. And there's two of these lockers behind Wendy as well two storage lockers here nice lighting in here yeah. okay over to the kitchen you've got your worktop extension we have your three ring gas hob and your one electric plate really nice size big sink and plenty of work surface space which is all important if you have got six people in here plug for kettle toaster anything you might want light switch is there as well you've got more storage up above cup holders and plate racks in there and we have the built-in microwave as well we have your combination oven and grill you've got more drawer storage under there we've got further storage in there and you do have a pull out drawer as well with your cutlery tray and then you have your fridge and freezer compartment that I mentioned it is You've got a nice big freezer compartment, plenty of room for your beers, wines, milk, everything you might want in there. And then we'll come to this side first. Plenty of room in here. So you've got your toilet, your wet room, so you've got your sink, you've got storage, you've got your mirror, and you've got a shelf at the top. We do have a vent, uh, a vent for letting out any 
steam or anything while you're in the shower. Ventilation. And there's loads of floor space in here as well. I don't even feel like I'm squeezing past anybody. Um, so there's plenty of room. When you come further down, we've got plenty more storage. Your tables are in there. You can see them at the bottom just there. But we've got more wardrobe storage there. And then on the other side, let me just close these. You've got TV aerial and your booster there. More storage.